Here we are in July. July 25th. Just four weeks away. What does that mean? That means that extra $600, the FPUC, the Federal Pandemic Unemployment Compensation, is coming to an end. What are you going to do? Let's assume the worst. Let's say they just don't extend anything. What are you going to do? Are you going to drive for Uber and Lyft? Are you going to do food delivery? Are you going to stay home and collect that weekly unemployment without the $600? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you all the options and give you some ideas, some factors to consider. And stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you why I do think rideshare driving at this particular time makes sense. Hey, everybody. It is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. It's uh, July 1st, so happy July. Drinking my Nespresso. And uh, let's get into some background. The day's coming. It seemed like three or four months ago, boy, that unemployment just seemed like it was going to go on forever, but it's coming to an end. So what are we going to do? Well, we're we going to address that in this video. Let's jump right in. Number one, so what's the current state of government uh, benefits? Well, one thing that's really impacting things today is what you're seeing on this graph here. And this is from the uh, CDC. And boy, you can see, we did not have like uh, the normal situation where the cases go up and then they go down. So you can see the cases went up and then they went eh, a little bit and now we're just kicking ass, right? We are just leading the world in number of cases. That's not a statistic we should be super proud of. So that really impacts us because if we decide to go out and drive, we got a bigger chance of, of getting sick because more people are getting are getting sick. In terms of the benefits, some people got a PPP loan, most of us got unemployment, and that's coming uh, to an end. Uh, given the situation with uh, the increase in cases um, and the incredible number of people unemployed, there's a, ch there's a chance that the uh, benefits will continue in, in, at some degree. But let's assume for this video, it's over. What are you gonna do? Th this is really interesting. Uh, this is in Forbes magazine. They say, if those benefits run out before Congress can extend them, former Obama administration economist Ernie Tedeschi told the Washington Post that the effect would be akin to delivering a 50 to 75% pay cut overnight to a huge chunk of the American population. And that was in Forbes magazine. Something to think about. Okay, number two, so what are your options? So we're gonna start off with food delivery. And we wrote a great article about food delivery called The Best Food Delivery Companies You Can Work For. And uh, we will put a link below this video so you can go check it out. But we're hearing that food delivery is paying as good as it's ever paid. Uh, there's just a lot of demand because a lot of people are still at home. More people are going home. Some places that were you know, opening are now contracting. Uh, some places, I mean, it just makes sense to stay home, right? We don't want to get sick. So that's driving up the demand for food delivery. So that's a good option. Check out our article and, uh, and then you can pick one, whether it's Postmates or DoorDash, or you can deliver groceries with Instacart. Number three, drive for Uber and Lyft, right? I got the car right here. I'm ready to bring people in, yeah? Got my mask, all right, got my mask. I find if I wear it, um, when I go to the health club, when I go to the health club, um, I wear it like this. So my nose, um, I can still breathe through my nose and it doesn't feel nearly as hot. And really the purpose of the mask is to prevent myself from <coughs> coughing out through my mouth because that's where the projectiles come. So this really works much better for me and I feel much more comfortable. Now if, you need, if you're gonna drive, you need masks. You need a bunch of masks. As you can see here is a nice image of a mask. This is something you can get on, uh, on Amazon. Uh, we have a link below the video for this particular uh, uh, mask, and you can get 50 of them for like $25, so they're only like 50 cents each, so that's a really good deal. So you want to wear a mask if you're driving for Uber and Lyft. You want to um, be able to crack your window, right, so you get air circulating. They say that for you to get um, COVID-19, you got to be close to somebody for about 15 minutes for it to really like land in there. 
So if you keep the air circulating, right? That's why they say if you're outside, you're you know you're much better than when you're inside because there's you know wind and things moving around. So you want to keep your window down a little bit, and um, and and of course have the mask and then have extra masks for those drivers who are unconscious and say here you need to have a mask to be in my car because I don't want to get sick. <laughs> oh, God. Number four, stay at home, right? That's still an option. And what I did is I made this little graph here. And let's say you go driving and you make a hundred, uh, uh, you make uh, forty, you do forty hours at twenty-five dollars an hour. Okay, so that would be like a really good day delivering food or an okay day driving people. Um, but you, let's say you made a thousand, and then you got to subtract your expenses, say one hundred and fifty for gas. So if you drove. Um, Five days, eight hours a day, yeah, thirty dollars a day for gas. Uh, your car, you're depreciating your car, and uh, you're gonna get, you know, food, supplies, things like that. Net income, six fifty. Or you can stay home. Um, in California, you can earn four hundred fifty dollars from for unemployment. That's without the six hundred dollar bonus. And you got forty hours of your life back to do something else, and you don't have the stress of driving. Okay, about driving, getting into an accident, getting COVID-19, you're safe and you are at home. Which would you choose? That's something you need to decide, but this gives you a, you know, a, pretty, good, a pretty good apples versus orange uh, comparison. So what are the key takeaways here? Well, as you can see here, over 44 million Americans have filed for unemployment during the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, that's a huge, huge number. How will the government respond to that? We won't even know until the third week in July because they're out on recess. So we got to assume the worst. So you got three options, yeah? Deliver food. Well, you got four options. You can go do something else. Go, go find some other kind of work. Or you can deliver food. Or you can drive for Uber or Lyft. Or you can stay home. If you're going to drive, my recommendation is driving for uh, Uber and Lyft. And you may say, well, that's not as safe. Well, I don't know that that's the case. If you're wearing a mask and they're wearing a mask and you got the window cracked, you're in complete control of your environment. Whereas when you're delivering food, man, you got to get out of your car. You got to go into a restaurant. Who knows what's in the restaurant? I've seen people waiting for 15 minutes for food, right, in a restaurant. They're just sitting down waiting for the food so they can get it and go deliver it. And, uh, you know, you're dealing with a lot, you know, people that are in the restaurant and then you got to get out and you got to go to the door. And it's just, I find, I find driving people a much more pleasurable experience. It doesn't smell up my car. And like I said, I can play my music. It's just people get in, people get out. It's simpler now. They don't even get in the front seat. They're going to get in. I got to make sure they got a mask. So all I got to do is make sure I have extra masks and you can make more money. Look. There are a lot of people who are staying home, so there's a small supply of drivers. And what we're hearing is that because there's a small supply of drivers, those drivers are getting very, very, very busy. Plus, tips are up because people really appreciate you going out there and driving. So if you're in a situation where you're not worried about getting someone sick at home, um, I say go out and drive for Uber and Lyft, um, and, and that's my recommendation. But if you love food delivery, look, you know you can't go wrong with that either. Uh, we recommend whatever works for you, all right? That's just my personal personal opinion, all right? So we will keep you up to date. And as soon as we know what the heck's going to happen with the unemployment, because that's like a big deal, you know? It's a big difference. Uh, well, what is it? 600 for a month. That's 2400 extra dollars um, that we could extend, right? That could happen. And that would make a big difference in making this decision much simpler, all right? Everybody, it's Jay Crater. Thanks so much for watching the video. Uh, if you haven't registered, if you haven't signed up yet, um, if you haven't uh, joined our YouTube channel, uh, subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe. We put out five videos uh, every single week. We do YouTube lives. We just did one yesterday with Harry, and uh, you can uh, click notifications so you're notified when when we're going to have our next YouTube live. Sometimes we have special guests on as well. So uh, sign up, join the team, stay up to date on all the latest. Go ahead and have a great day. Be safe. Wear your mask. Social distance. I'll see you next time.